Creatics Cree here from the Red Carpet on Cree Street. Okay, so today is the one year anniversary of coming out as a lesbian on my blog. Yay! Okay, so yeah, today is also summer solstice. Okay, so, but okay, officially I came out um, on January 29th, 2016. So then I came out on my blog on June 21st, 2016. So now it's June 21st, 2017! Okay, so I have these curls in my hair. It's really cool. Like, okay, I don't know if you saw my blog yesterday, the redcarpetandcreasetree.com, um, that um, I was talking about this new product, the InStyler Max, but actually I think I don't really like it that much, and I feel like I have actually a regular curling iron and a regular flat iron, and I think they do their jobs kind of better without pulling my hair. Uh, maybe it's just like I'm not used to all these products or I don't know, maybe it's just what I'm doing, but um, I kind of pulled my hair and then it, the thing like rotates and also it can, yeah, and then also I kind of burnt myself up. So just letting you know. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking this voluminous look with the curls. I should do this more often. I'm usually always like, cause my hair is naturally so like voluminous and kind of like extra extra, but so then I feel like I always try to flatten it. But then now like with a curling iron, you could get these like soft and sleek curls. And then you can also have that volume too. And then also kind of like not so much so much volume, volume, but volume at the same time. So, IDK, okay. So, yes, today is the one year anniversary of coming out on my blog. Ah, uh, yes, coming out. It is June, Pride Month, 2017. So last year, I was a newbie, a baby gay, as they say. <laughs> it sounds like a bird hatching from a cocoon or like a chick hatching, which actually, yeah, okay. Um, however, um, so now I've been out for a year, or well, more than a year, and on my blog, exactly a year. And so first I came out as, well, I guess nothing, really, because I always, like, had crushes on guys. And also, although some of them I think were kind of feminine guys, so if I may say, um, I'm not sure. Um, however, I went to Hunter, then I had this crush on this woman in my class, and she probably wasn't even gay or even bi, I don't even know. But um, she was just so breathtaking to me in like a different way than other women have in the past. And yes, yes, in eighth grade and seventh grade, I had crushes on girls, even if I didn't know what they were at that time. And maybe even younger too, come to think of it. But this sort of like chemical attraction, I've always wondered like why something is, what it, like what is attraction? It's not even necessarily a bodily thing. It's just like a chemical thing. Like, um, I don't know. But of course, there's your things with like women. And you know, I always thought that like femme um, women, like, look, like if you love fashion a lot, I think I always thought like, why wouldn't you love women too? Because you know, but I understand lots of straight women are very girly and they like men, but also lots of non, uh, non femme women um, like men too. So I don't, it's just very interesting to me. Like I look on all these articles trying to find like the center of all this, but it's crazy how there has been, still is, such a prejudice against um, sexuality, something so intimate that no one really needs to know what you do in your spare time with like a partner. Like, no one needs to know that if you're straight, so why should they know that if you're gay? Or, like, you know, or the other way around. Like, it's just baffling, but now we have this whole movement of pride and the rainbow and the colors, and now there's this whole thing that people are saying, oh, it's so corporate, the pride parade, and oh, straight people are coming to the parades now. We don't like it. Where's our, um or place again. But um, isn't that what we wanted? We wanted to let the straight people know we're here, we're gay, we're out, we're proud, and we don't care what you think. And we want you to be a part of us, a part, we, I don't know, there's all these thinkings, but I think like it's great. And all these corporations like Target, like other companies, they're like, bring on the gay, even if it is for money, like, oh, we make more money because of the gays. but. That's great too, as long as they're they're seeing us. So that's really good. Um, okay, so 
This is really cool. Oh yeah, and I'm wearing a Macy's dress, by the way, okay? And so this is really cool. This was my post last year. Out and about feminine mystique. Yeah, so here, it's funny. So it came out as gay on here, not as bi. Although first, when I had the crush, the major crush when I got to Hunter, I was like, um, I just said, oh, I have a crush on a woman, but I didn't say if I'm bi or gay. So then I went into, oh, I'm bi. Then I was like, I'm gay. And then even after I did this post, I think I was like, I went back to, because actually someone at Pride asked me out like a guy, so I did go out with him. Then I knew I was gay. But then I, the next semester I was like, no, do I have a crush on this guy? And he was like so nerdy. I think sometimes it's like uh, interesting to me because I can see a hot guy and I can see maybe a nerdy guy and I can see um, a hot woman. It's interesting because not everyone, um, like, I think everyone anyway has an attraction to all genders. It's just whether, like, the chemical balance of it, what you're going to identify as, and also the percentage that you have. So I feel like, let's say for me, maybe it's ever so slightly an attraction to men, ever so slightly, but it's nothing I would really act on. I think, or maybe it's just that I see a, um, like, a man and like oh he does look nice okay but then I see a woman and I'm like oh wow she looks like really nice and although sometimes I feel like maybe if I have more of that you know gaydar but if I have more of like an inkling that the woman is straight I may not like her as much even if she is really attractive I don't know you just have to like look deep within yourself and then um so yeah so on here, it's funny, so then I came, so yeah, I'm gay. I feel like I came out as like so many things. And also, apparently, I think like sexuality, and I'm reading this book, this book is gay, that's what it's called, um, by James Dawson, and um, he also says that sexuality and gender expression can change over time. So that's something that actually kind of scares me slightly, because I feel like I just... Like, when I was first coming out, I was like, oh, am I bi, am I gay? I wanted to nail something down. Actually, first I came out as fluid or something, or like, no labels. But but now, if I'm saying I'm gay now, and I still haven't really um, gotten that deep into the lesbian community that much, because also a lot of things are for 21 and over, which, 37 days until I'm 21, fans. <laughs> so, um... A lot of things are like that and but I do like relish or whatever the word is that day when I get to like go up to a woman and let's say like a bar maybe Henrietta Hudson and then I'll be like hey can I buy you a drink Remy she'll say to me can I buy you a drink I'm not sure but what scares me is that if sexuality can change is this all gonna change again and then I'm gonna be confused again am I buy am I gay but no or what if all this is a lie? What if life is a lie? What if, and what if, also I wondered about like, you know, gender expression, right? So like I'm really femme presenting. And I think when I first came out, I was thinking, oh wait, since, cause lots of lesbians, you know, you can have like, kind of more tomboy look. But like, I was like, so, and pictures in this, I had like this, baseball cap and then other stuff, but I'm just still very femme presenting. But now, I don't really think I like that as much, but I think it is something to think about. Are you gay? Are you trans? Are you bi? Are you questioning? I also questioned the questioning in there because I thought, oh, eventually you're going to stop questioning. So why is there a Q in LGBTQIA? But no, I think it, it should be there because, um, like, if you're bi, curious. You're curious. Everyone should be curious. But it's just baffling how it's not, um, it's not, there's no freedom all the time to be like, eh, oh, yes, you should question it. Like, no doubt. No, it's just like you're born straight and then, oh, you have to come out as something else. But I'm here to say today that I'm Cree. I'm gay. And I'm almost 21. Later! Happy summer! And oh my gosh, look at me. Okay, bye.